Oh. Well, Trapper Ed, it's a Saturday of the Holy Week. Tomorrow's Easter. And I'm down here in the bottom of the lake. It's beautiful. It's an awesome trip. I'm glad I came. Listen to the birds. Let me shut up. You can hear people. There's people shooting shotguns and fishermen. Listen to the birds. Here. There's some kind of canary. Beautiful in here. My traps are still underneath two feet of water. At least, <laughs> it's crazy. I told them I wasn't exaggerating when I said eight or nine feet. It's gone down quite a bit. Um, it was, the water was up to my neck, right? As I stand right here speaking to you, that's how deep the water was. If I would have tried to come in here earlier, it was, the water was up to my neck. So we're walking through here and we're coming down the trail to the first set, but as you can see, we're already at the water's edge and we're nowhere near the first set. I'll show you where it is though. It's right through these trees out that way. Like underneath the stump, kind of like over in here. I went and I was screwing around on these cottonwood trees, trying to get to it and I fell in and I got wet feet up to my knees. Look, there's a bird. Hear the coots? Ducks. I'll try to get some of this on film. Just tons of birds down here. It's great. It's a bird sanctuary. They need to turn this into a state park. Look, this is this the most awesome place. It's a sanctuary for so many creatures. God awesome place of wood right in our own backyard.
<laughs> Still running? Yeah. Try and get some ducks. Hoots or whatever. They're in there. <coughs> Pardon me. Might even see some snakes somewhere. Let's see. I found a gopher snake yesterday. I actually caught him, but I let him go. I'm just trying to get over here where you can. Look, there's some there's some tracks right there. Looks like coyote. Coyote and a bobcat tracks both. Grass certainly grew up. This little rain we had really grew the grass, which is going to vastly improve the ecosystem overall and provide the much needed lower life food chain rodent population for the, all the other predator species. But, uh, you can see the water has not has not resided to the point where we're gonna be able to recover those traps. It's, uh, as a matter of fact, the last set is off this point here, down in here, and it's it's the barely visible. You can see the island up there where that those coots and ducks just started, comorants and whatever there is in here. There's also all kinds of different there's some kind of blue heron, maybe a baby one, young one. Uh, there's great blue herons, there's storks, ducks, geese, coots, comorants, messengers, uh, wood ducks, pintails, all different kinds of stuff. Just assortment of wildlife. It's beautiful back here. Day before Easter, look, somebody's up there cranking on the hill. But we're just out here doing a nature walk. Look, here's some nice flowers. I'm not sure what this is. I have to look it up and learn. But the insects are grooving on. Look at there's a bottle fly. It's very beautiful. It's a green bottle fly. And then these just a sorted flora and fauna after. You get a winter with some rain and we only got a little. So, not enough, but you can see enough to make these trees really blossom and flower. And that's good because all the wildlife loves the flowers. You know, they feed and feast off the seeds and fruits of the wild. And so it supports everything. The key, the key is water, rain. And that's God's blessing. God gives or withholds based on man's deeds. And but people don't believe that. But that's their mistake. Because our karma is collectively related. Which means what we do matters. And if what we do matters, then we should do the right thing versus the wrong thing logically speaking because if we don't we're hurting ourselves see there's another set out in here somewhere over here on the shoreline but it's so underwater look there goes a duck and it looks like a mallard maybe a small drake i don't know can't see that well oh no it's a it's a coot Yeah, there's lots of coots. There's some fishermen over there. 
You can see the, the see that growth out there? There's, I got a set right there. It's underwater. You can't even see it. Hopefully it's still there. <laughs> right, Clark? Hopefully it's still there. He says you're gonna need a. It's gonna need doctoring and uh, and uh, <laughs> it won't work anymore. It'll be all rusted. And I told him no. It's yeah, they're galvanized. Uh, I think they'll be all right. Uh, they'll be silted out, but they won't be. I don't think they'll be rusted. They're galvanized, and they were new, so brand new, never used before. Well, used last season. This is their second season, so they they had very minimal use. Like I think it was we trapped like six days two years ago, and then last year I got two weeks in all down here with these things underwater and stuff and it's two possums that's it that's all we did we quit when we learned the fur prices weren't any good I said what's the point of killing creatures for no reason you know let them propagate they don't there's very few anyways because of the rain the drought situation so I thought I was the one in command of my particular situation and I said look it's better that I don't trap. I love to trap, but it's better that I don't. Let the animals, uh, give them a break. Let them populate, you know. Let them f seed the earth, man, till they're abounding, you know. Don't need to destroy animals just for the sake of it, you know. I mean, if there's no market for the fur, then leave them be. So that's what I like to do. Doesn't make me any less the trapper. Although, I think doing is experience. If you don't do, you won't know. So, you know, it's just that simple. You're gonna learn something by doing something. And if you don't do it, then you won't know as much as the fellow that did. So you won't be able to talk the kind of depth that that person could perhaps deliver because you only took it to this. So this is the entrance right here, that blue truck. It was there before and uh, I found my bait can, but I'm not going back. I'm waging war and going forward through the mud, through the grime, through the tough stuff of life to get to the other side. You know, because here's my bike. I better not go past that. Because there's a lot of stuff that they'll throw at you in life. And you got to be prepared. Like a Marine, you got to be, you know, you got to bring your special forces with you. Or you're not going to make it, soldier. <laughs> so this is trap red down the bottom. Still can't get these traps. Maybe, maybe, back, maybe about June or July, 4th of July. If it, yeah, it might go down enough to get them. This is trap red over and out.